As most of you know, we're about to enter into a very serious debate over the budget. Uh, the Speaker has, is going to be briefing all of you individually and in groups. Uh, but in addition to that, uh, Bob Franks has spent a great deal of time working with John Kasich and the Budget Committee uh, Communications Group to put a plan together. And before we introduce Bob, we'd like to introduce the Speaker of the House, the gentleman from Georgia, Newt Gingrich. coming this is a huge turnout by god thank you this is great this is just great i'm glad to see you all here uh, i'm reading a few new books right now uh you might want to be interested in uh you got daniel Steele's chances that's a great new book and uh jackie collins husband hollywood husbands uh, very interesting book and of course my new button my new dinosaur book so uh uh, I, I recommend all of them. They're all good, just great books. And uh, anyway, uh, I have three points to make here today, or five points. Uh, first, I want to thank ESPN2 uh, for carrying my speech. Also, the... I'd like to thank the Gardening Channel. Uh, C-SPAN, and of course my friends at PBS. <laughs> also, for those of you watching the uh, NET, open your textbooks to Chapter 6, and there will be a quiz on Monday. <laughs> anyway, we're here today to help celebrate the first 100 days of the Republican-controlled Congress. Oh! All right. And of course, the passage of the Contract with America. It's been a long three months, and I know we're all a little tired, but there's still a lot of work to be done. And by my watch, uh, we still have about 10 minutes left. So uh, before the first day, uh, days are officially up. So let's get to it. Now, uh, let's uh, show America how many bills a Republican Congress can pass in 10 minutes when we're not hampered by bizarre, weird Democrats. <laughs> Okay, first up, H.R. 765, which would cut taxes for the middle class, lower the deficit, and at the same time, all in favor. Ah! I can't hear you. Ah! All right. Also, a motion that a tax cut bill doesn't have to go through Senate. All in favor? Ah! All right. All opposed? You know what? I don't care. Uh, you, you don't get to vote. All right, let's keep moving. We got nine minutes left. H.R. 433, which would make Senator Mark Hatfield officially a Democrat. All in favor? No! All right. H.R. 963, motion that from now on all Democrats are officially weird. All in favor? No! All right. Okay, let's go, let's go, let's go. We're burning daylight. Okay, H.R. 832, to keep reporters away from my mother. What do you say? No! How about even though we had nothing to do with it, we take credit for ending the baseball strike, huh? Yeah. Right. Done. Motion to move nation's capital to Atlanta, Georgia, huh? Yeah. All right. Now we're kicking. All right, pipe down. Now look, we're cooking with gas now. How about second contract with America? I'm not telling you what it is. It's in this envelope. You decide. All in favor? All right. There you go, huh? All right, term limits. You know what? Forget that. I have to talk to Delay about this one, okay? <laughs> hey, I, don't know, I don't know about you, but I'm hungry. Rachel, can you give me a school lunch? <laughs> oh, okay. Come on, 
people, stop thinking about the next 100 days and worry about the next 100 seconds. We got two minutes left. H.R. 763 changed the results of the 88 election so that Michael Dukakis won no states. All in favor? <laughs> All right. Motion to change the hail to the chief to hail to the speaker, huh? Yeah. All right. H.R. 424 to make Saturday Night Live's ratings better. All in favor? Yeah. yeah. All right, and finally, H.R. 631, motion to make Sonny Bono come up here and sing I've Got You Newts. All in favor? <laughs> Mr. Speaker? This is great. Uh, I'm, I'm glad I could do this. Uh, you're looking great. You go swimming today? No. I did. We're gonna watch that weight, huh? How about a Diet Coke? There you go. All right, we'll make we'll make Atlanta happy. We'll stand there holding Diet Coke. <laughs> there we go. Are they advertising your show? <laughs> yeah, they say they used to. Till now. No. <laughs> the two of us. I just uh, want to know which of our former members set this up. Oh. <laughs> 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 they want us to talk into these things, okay. All right. We are, uh, actually, we could use your vote on the rule tomorrow if you could stay over. <laughs> <laughs> I don't well, even want to ask him which demand he has in mind. <laughs> How's our wife, Marianne? <laughs> very mad at Boehner when she realizes she has missed this. <laughs> She's going to want to know how she gets a copy of the videotape. <laughs> well, now they know there are two of you. That's how you get so much work done. <laughs> but, Mr. Speaker, I have, uh, I've been assigned a very important, important duty uh, uh, administrating to you a new speaker's oath. So, if you, please put your hand on the Diet Coke and repeat after me. <laughs> I, Newt Gingrich. I, Newt Gingrich. Do solemnly, solemnly promise to continue to be a good speaker? I solemnly promise to continue to be a good speaker. I promise to help the American people. I promise to help the American people. I promise to smile when people call me landslide. I promise to smile when people call me landslide. I promise not to kill Big Bird. I promise not to kill Big Bird. <laughs> I promise that my book will be way less boring than Al Gore's book. <laughs> I absolutely promise that my book will be way less boring than Al Gore's book. And finally, most important of all, I promise to go see Tommy Boy, new hit movie starring Chris Farley. Thanks a lot, sir. Thank you. Oh, I appreciate it. Thank you. That was fun. I hope I didn't wreck your podium. Oh, wow. That was great. Yes, sir. Thanks a lot. It's great to meet you. Thank you, sir. the time now comes the time to beg okay whatever your complaints whatever your problems this is the last hurdle we've got to get the rule passed and get on and we desperately need your help it ain't all that complicated we want to work with every one of you we got a long year ahead of us uh it's that straightforward uh i'm not nobody is totally satisfied with where we are but it is incredibly better than where we used to be and that's just reality thank you all Let's remember, 